Hey, what's going on guys? Slug Dead Zip here, and welcome back to, I mean, I don't want to call it a redstone video. It doesn't really take that much, I mean, take a little bit of redstone, so I guess we could get away with calling it a redstone video. <laughs> so, for any of you that are avid Minecraft players, survival players, and uh, you know, you've got minecart systems going throughout your world, maybe to just get around places faster, maybe you've got a system that takes you through the nether to transfer places on your SMP world, similar to on my How to Minecraft server, you might notice that you usually need powered rails to get around at a reasonable speed. However, today I'm going to be showing you a little trick you can do to, for the most part, eliminate the need for powered rails, um, by and large, uh, completely. Uh, so all you're going to need for this little contraption is everything you see here, five blocks of your choosing, one half slab of your choosing, course uh, minecart actually you caught me you're gonna need two minecarts you're also gonna need two powered rails as many rails as your um, destination requires one lever and one button and we're gonna build it right now it could not be any simpler it is not exactly a new concept however it is something I wanted to show off to you guys because I really think it's gonna be quite useful it is an infinite minecart booster you make this thing, you will not need any more powered rails other than the two uh, to set the entire contraption in motion. Now, to build the contraption is simple enough. All you gotta do is, first of all, go ahead and place down a block right here. Just stack a few up. It doesn't even have to be this tall. I'd say make it at least three tall. Place a button down right there. Now, carefully, half slab, right? Kind of like, yeah, just like that, so it's on the upper half slab. You're also going to need to place down a block, not here, but right here. You can, you can break that guy again. And then from there, go ahead and place down your first of two power rails, just like that. Break this guy so that this is on a slant, as you can see here. And then place your second powered rail right there. Finally, place down your lever upside down on this block and then turn this baby on. And then the last step you're going to need to get this ready uh, it's a little bit tricky, okay? Place down the first minecart, and then before you place down the second minecart, or I should say right after you place down the second minecart, you're going to quickly get into the first one. And you're going to do this every single time. You're going to be ready to go on your excursion to wherever your minecart track is going to take you. So as such, very quickly, just do that. Right click, get inside. And now you've got two minecarts right here. From there, press your button. And away you go. Now this is what I'm talking about. There are no powered rails along this track. We are going up various blocks, making various turns around. And you can kind of see. You can kind of see the double minecarts. They're going in a direction here. And they always catch up with each other uh, on the turns. Now, the downslope, you might argue, hey, that's how you're getting your speed back. Well, truth be told, if you know much about Minecraft, and I hope to goodness you do, you would know for a fact that that one little downhill area would not be anywhere near enough to give you the momentum to continuously go up and down this entire track uh, without slowing down. So what this is, this infinite minecart booster will keep your minecarts going at top speed for over 4,800 rails. 4,800, which is pretty much reasonably speaking longer than you're ever going to really need to make a rail. I know someone out there is going to need to make one that is 4,900 blocks. To that I say, add an extra freaking booster in there towards the end of it, okay? If, you're, if your track is longer than 4,800 blocks, I can't help you. We're going to turn this freaking sound down because you get the idea, okay? We're on the move here. You can see it's working just fine, okay? Now you get to just hear my beautiful voice. Now, I'm not gonna say much as to how it works other than the fact that the two hitboxes of the minecarts are constantly propelling each other forward in the forward motion. You can even see, in just a second, we're gonna show it off in just a second, I really want to kind of emphasize exactly how long you can go on this track like this thing will still be going by the time this video ends this video is basically done I've already explained how to build it I just really want you to understand how freaking fast and far this can go <laughs> so it's quite useful and you'll even see here in just a second we're gonna make one more trip around one more trip around and I'm gonna show you 
What else you can pull off with it? You ready for this? You ready for this? Check it out. We're almost to the bottom here. You're gonna see in just a second. Look at this. Look at this. It will also keep going at full speed without anybody else in it. If you know anything about Minecraft as well, guys, I feel like I'm insulting. I'm not insulting you guys. If you don't know these things, it's not a big deal. But usually when a minecart does not contain a person or an entity of some sort, it eventually slows down even faster than as if there was someone in it. But as you can see here, we are still moving at top speed. You can hardly even see that there's two minecarts in there, but on turns you can kind of tell that there are. It's kind of hard to tell, but this is pretty much how foolproof this little system is. It's really cool. It's going to be super useful for you to save on your gold ingots because you're really not going to be able to make powered, or you're not going to need to make powered rails anymore. You're going to need to make them every eight tracks because it takes two powered rails, as I said, and I guess two on the other side if you, uh, if you really want to get technical. But for the most part, this thing is going to be inv invaluable to uh, any SMPs or single player worlds where you've got lots of rails going around. Um, so without rambling on, this video does not need to be any longer. I hope you guys enjoyed this fun little tip. Utilize it in your world. It is super useful. And of course, if you enjoyed the video, it means so much to me if you left a like rating on the video. Uh, but other than that, guys, hope you guys uh, enjoyed. And uh, we will catch you for the next video. <laughs> I am delirious. I have not slept in 30 hours. Goodbye.